Are we ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, not Randy. Sit down. The man's just chilling in the room. <laughs> um, welcome to our sixteenth billionth millionth trillionth uh weekly conference. Uh, today we're going to be going over uh group wide news, divisional news, um promotions, demotions, medal awards, and our wonderful uh developer c questions. Uh, do we have any group wide news? No, just medals. Uh, uh... <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with the award of obstacle veterancy. I'm gonna call your guys' name one by one. Um, you all just come STS at the front, and I'll let you know when, it, when to go sit back down. The gamer four four two two finished the obby in one minute and forty two seconds. X Skellum finished the obby in the one game minute. Has seen. They have a new DC apparently. Did you oh. guys How tell Tomo? Did you guys tell Tomo? Oh, uh, I think Saucy forgot again. Oh. Canadian oh knows. Canadian? Canadian? Uh, well, no, no, hey! I, it just came to mind right now. Okay, I'll just announce it right now. Okay, STHD has a new DC, so can <laughs> Mr. Chunky come up to the front? I, dude, this whole time I thought Mr. Chunky was a deputy. I thought he's been deputy. <laughs> I thought he's been deputy. <laughs> yeah, same. He, no, he re he replaced someone. I I forget who though. <clears throat> or maybe. maybe... Yo, SCHD. Here's the idea. Oh. Since Saucy apparently is uh useless, whenever if you get deputy in the future, just uh damn a tumble. <laughs> Bro, she diss Saucy like that. I mean, this is the second time this has happened. SCHD, you're hitman. You know where she lives. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> okay, oh. moving on. Uh, X Skellum finished the obby in a minute and 36 seconds. Um, I'm gonna say this wrong. Sizen underscore IX finished the obby in a minute and 22 seconds. Uh, are any of them here? <laughs> yeah, you, got, you guys can come to the front, stay at the front until I tell you all to sit down. There you go. There you go. They're here. Uh, XX Kirby plays XX finished the obby in a minute and 22 seconds. And last but not least, Solar Real finished it in a minute and 25 seconds. Congrats to those who completed the obby. Um, you may go sit back down. Thank you. I have exactly like three minutes, so maybe I can finish these. Um, Next is the Aegis Combat Excellence Award. This is getting 150 kills with um, zero deaths or very minimum deaths, depending on what the situation is. Um, Gamer Troll 911, Sidor Valkyrie, Veron J, and Tilted underscore Elite. You guys can come to the front. Congrats to you guys for that. Um, I could never. <laughs> That's, I'm too impatient for that. What is that? Like, who's doing that very quiet clapping? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> is this like? Huh? <laughs> oh, this isn't loading. I appreciate the enthusiasm, Maddie. My Trello, my Trello's frozen. Hold up! What the hell? Hey, you Toby, guys... you're gonna have to take over my Trello work. You guys can go sit back down. Bro, the Trello was cleaned up and it's not even working for you. No, it's just like it randomly froze. I can't open anything or see anything. I've tried reloading as well. Hey, no PC. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, exit now because I gotta go get ready for work. Lose Toby, them. you take over. Um. Bye. All right, so I guess I'm taking over. Next award will be Medal of Undying Loyalty. It is given to Aegis personnel who has been in Aegis for at least one year with sufficient proof. If I call out your name, please come up to the front. I like dogs, my gamer man. Uh, if you're here, please come up to the front. Nope. I see. Cool. Oh. Up the back. 
bro imagine not getting here all right so anyway uh yes moving on to the next award we have uh agony certificate of military scholarship this award is given to uh AOA graduates that have successfully completed their traveling period as an officer so if i call out your name please come up to the front as well friedo and l dog team 17 and I'm sorry if I'm gonna pronounce your name wrong. Uwu Xia. Uwu. <laughs> uh, this name? So, so congratulations. Only one oh. person's here. So, congratulations. <laughs> you have passed your trialing officer stage. You may jump up and down to celebrate, and you will go back to the seat. Who is that, though? Pretty sure that's like Fredo. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, next. Yeah, we see that's it for medals. Pardon. All right. <laughs> next, we have AOA invites. <laughs> uh, a few people sent their application either today or yesterday, and uh, they haven't been approved just yet. But so there are three people currently pending. So you will either be invited to AOA this week or next conference. Uh, but there are four individuals who passed, that being, if I call your name, please come to the front. Drifty was here. Lewis JPH. J4KA. Sadly, Zach. And Woo! that's it. <laughs> so if you guys could send me or KPD a DM uh, will invite you into the AOA Discord and don't forget to join the AOA group as well which I'll link you uh, you may sit back down next we have officer plus promotions Ooh. now for officer plus promotion we have three promotions so for the first for the first two promotions, can I get a juicy drum roll? Yes. Can Trim Trimaxon and Saucy Train come up to the front if you are here? You are being promoted from unit captain to unit commander. So congrats, you get a cool L4 card. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> you may sit back down now, Trimix on. And the next, we have a quite a big boy promotion. Can KPD come up to the front? Get swole! Yeah, KPD! <laughs> KP is being promoted from unit commander to unit marshal. That means he will be a trawling Tomo. If he passes his trawling stage, he will be promote, promoted to a Tomo and he will join us up on stage. Whoa! Wait, he's a trap though. Uh... <laughs> Eliminate the traps. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right then. Now we will open the channels up for what's it called conference questions. Please be sure to read the conference info channel and that you do not send any joke submissions. Please follow the format and otherwise feel free to ask what you need to ask. You know so Maddie says she has work now just conveniently just before conference questions. I don't know why she didn't go to work if she was only going to be here for five minutes. Yeah. It's okay though, we have a special guest at the back of the conference hall who's shrugging right now, out of joy. Hey, Coded. Coded. <laughs> Come on. <coughs> oh, he tripped. <laughs>
didn't get much sleep. What do you mean you went to sleep at like 3 a.m.? Because he's developing. So I went much. to sleep at half four thanks to you. It's okay. That Smirnoff was good, wasn't it? No. No, it wasn't. Actually, I couldn't taste it. If you guys want um, a good tip, you should put um, vodka and Pepsi Max cherry together because you can't taste the vodka. It's brilliant. Are you trying to turn people into alcoholics? Yeah, I am. These are all underage individuals, good sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but um, wait. I only know that you two aren't. Right? For that. I don't know. You don't know anything. Yeah, I don't know anything. I'm just assuming. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Coded. I'm just waiting for some good questions coming. Okay. Um, is Aegis development ever going to be as active as it used to be? Um, what yeah. do you mean? Yeah. Eventually, when there's more ideas and the city's done. Because. Once the city's done, guess what? There's tons of updates that could be done. But, um, we've done so many wasteland updates and border updates that it's just like, there's not really that much else to do. Apart from finishing that volcano thing, that'll be cool. Um, and obviously, Anchor 3? Yeah, Anchor 3. Yeah, it's baby! Like, yeah. Uh, but apart from that, there's not really many big updates that are planned. So, Development will res resume activity like it used to be, probably in a few months or a few weeks. Uh, there will be a big update soon, though. Um, also, I haven't um, been working on the gun script recently, but I we'll but I will get back to it, and you will hear more about it Boo. in the next like. Well, I, I finish college soon, so you know. Well, Being there, done that. By soon, I mean in like just under two months um when will add applications be read uh when they get read I, I, I can't give you a time unfortunately is there any progress on the new combatics or pksf shield re reworks etc um as far as i know no uh it's basically in the same position it was like five conferences ago when people were asking about where the PKSF shield and combat new combat upgrades were um how do i view from the patriot camera what what you mean the portrait camera okay so what you do is you open your camera app on your phone it depends what phone you have so like your iphone <laughs> right or your your or your samsung your android uh, and then basically if you tilt the phone like so you're holding it like a, a landscape piece of paper, right? It should automatically shift the screen into 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 landscape mode. Just Mine do that, but do the that. opposite, because you have for portrait mode, not landscape. Because it's annoying. Yeah, I, I have my phone constantly locked into portrait mode because otherwise it flips all over the place when I'm lying down. Mm -hmm. Um, ARD revolver remodel. Um, maybe. I mean, all of the guns are up for potentially being remodeled sometime in the future so um as you know a lot of the guns that have been remodeled were mainly just randomly Actually, picked out of the air or there were weapons that were commonly used I'm like the pretty sure that that actually did get remodeled by bluetooth but yeah. i don't think it's in game yet oh there you go then so yeah it'll be in eventually uh who are the people pending <coughs> what well I'm still waiting for my vaccine, but that's all I can say about that. I think he means those pending for the EOE invites. He wasn't very specific. <laughs> I, I don't even know where you got that part from. <laughs> Bad um, question. Can we just can doing we just do as well? You can't even EOE. <laughs> Uh, will there be any more ranks added? Uh, maybe? 
I mean, it depends. Right now, we're not thinking about it because we've already added all of the new ranks that we wanted to, right? All of the ranks that we wanted are in now. They can be up um, to 200 ranks now. So, who knows? Yeah. Um, really? 200? Yeah. Wasn't the limit like 30 or something? Not 30, it was uh -huh. like 15 19. or something. Yeah. Yeah, and then we kept running out of rank space, so we had to keep deleting or keep deleting. We ended up. I'm pretty sure you axed head of staff, and the excuse was that you needed more rank space. It was. Doblox mad. And th and then and then Dob didn't want to be on the same level as me. It's yeah, quite I'm unfortunate. Still, still angry to this day that you know he's not HOS, <laughs> even though he's the only BOD at this point. And and now and now the threat of being merged into Tommel is too oh, too much like to bear. Either. <laughs> Literally every time I'm like, yo, eventually VOD is gonna probably be merged with Tommy. He's like, oh, oh, I'm not having this. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Uh, will there be any new ways to get points? Probably not. It will probably remain the same unless we decide, or whether Tommel decides to change anything in the future. But right now, as I know, nothing is being changed in that regard. Um. Will this be considered? What is it? An Overwatch control pack. That's... I've seen this before, like, ages ago. Um... What would this be used for? Events, I'm assuming. Meltdowns don't occur. Oh, so you can turn off meltdowns, the infection script, and everything. Okay. That makes sense. Maybe? Perhaps? You never know. Um... Will there be a, a possible flashlight be available f for mobile? Oh. Don't have access to that, do I? Do I Over time, uh, more mobile functionality will be added. Um, even though everything does function on consoles and everything. Um, so if you have a controller, plug that into your phone and you'll have a better experience. Yeah. Because technically everything works on console. Yeah. Uh, can I change my rank for example I'm SC and I want to change to peacekeeper um yeah all you have to do is discharge from your division so you wait you however long your division wants you to do or you complete whatever quota that you want your division your division wants you to complete give your division head notice and then you can leave the division don't just leave um because that's not allowed and then you can join another division if you want to the reason the period is there is to basically stop you hopping around because that used to be a big problem way back when. People used to just change divisions when they felt like it. For example, I was in PKSF for like a week. Um, any new guns going to be added? Yeah. That should be a banned suggested question because we've been asked that every single conference since the beginning I, I of time. It, I think it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just need it on my... We need it on like a, another monitor just so I can check whether it's banned or not. Um... Is there any chance that the commands are going to be louder? No. You mean the voice commands? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, but you need to be a bit more specific with what you ask. <laughs> I mean, I get what you meant in that one, kind of, but like, yeah. Um, I mean, they're pretty loud already. I mean, the Borders are a really loud game in general. Like, that game just bursts your eardrums out if you're playing it on max volume. because I had my headset turned all the way up, but the Roblox audio turned all the way down when I developed it. So all the audio is like tuned to my headset. So yeah. and anyone else that plays the game normally, well, that's just unfortunate, really. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, will there be any new ARD labs added? You never know. I mean, there's not any plans for anything right now, but eventually there could be something new added. Well, well there probably will be something ARD re related, like whenever. Um, they just kind of get added whenever an idea pops up, really. Uh, will there ever be an ARD Academy thing like that? I mean, that's that's up to the division people who run ARD as to whether they want to have an ARD Academy. Um, to answer, that already exists. And we oh, still there you go, use then. it to this day. Yeah, there you go. So you had your question answered. 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 Um, are more faction updates coming? For example, yeah. There is more faction updates. Um, that suggestion was already suggested a very long time ago. Because this has been on the to-do list for a while. I am going to be reprogramming the faction system eventually. 
by eventually I mean probably around the same time that I'm doing the gun script. So sometime this year, eventually, but it will be this year, probably, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Um, but you will be able to add new roles, you'll be able to change the name of the roles, you'll be able to give them different permissions and colours, and also mods will have a lot more control over like uh, factions. You'll have Tommel who are able to actually delete factions, obviously, if they're bad, because what they have to do now is make everybody leave the faction, because, you know, like, there's no way to check right now. Um, so we just kind of have to work around it. The faction system is quite old and buggy and a bit shit, but you know. Uh, in response to your res in response to your response to my question about development, I did, for example, submit a crate for the wastelander that was no router for some reason. Um, well, things, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I'm sorry to hear about that. Um, but yeah. Uh, how and at what rank can we get special ranks? Oh, you mean when can you join a division? I'm guessing that's that's what you mean. Um, what's the? I mean, for each division, it's different, but it's around senior operative. Like that, you can join a division. I'm pretty sure it's senior operative for every division now. It used to be operative, but they moved it up, didn't they? Can somebody confirm? No? Yeah, most divisions is set to senior operative right now. <clears throat> but I know, I believe AIA has it set one or two higher. And then obviously divisions are allowed to freely change that as they wish. They just can't go below operative. There you go. Then. Um, will the new gun script force your character into shift lock? No, that was an idea that was, that was like a, um, a concept, like prototype of the gun script that I made. Like, God, how long ago was that now? That was like early 2020 my first prototype for the new gun script where your camera is locked to your shoulder no that's not happening because uh i've said this in the past but like uh trying to balance the gameplay so that it's not too different from what you're familiar with but at the same time kind of meets the criteria that that makes it a good combat system also it will have like um there will be over the shoulder that isn't shift lock. I am going to add that, but it'll be more aimed towards people who play on mobile and consoles because, you know, it's easier to aim then. Um, but I will make it available for PC players as well. But it will it will work similar. It will just be a bit more, I guess, realistic. I don't know. Um, is there going to be another way to get points for SO Plus? I already answered this question. Probably not. Uh, is there a punishment system? F is a punishment system for subjects ever going to exist? I mean, don't they already get imprisoned and then they, they like, Mine Death. a few rocks, and then they die. Well, what I said was when uh, they don't meet the quota, they get gassed or something, but I don't think I've added that, so... Oh, yeah. God, that's horrific. Um... Horrific, but efficient. <laughs> Is there a chance that friendly fire will be turned off? No, never. I think it means on, but yeah. Oh, yeah, you mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll, t we'll turn friendly fire off, don't worry about it. Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> um... Yeah, we'll never. We, we we want to be able to trust our personnel, and that's kind of tough when you have quite a few initiates who will run around trying to gun everybody down with a pistol. Um, but like, it's it's more about matching the realism. We don't want to have to disable TKing because like, it's quite important, and also also gives SC something else to warn people for. Um, about the new gun script, will the bullets go through a certain amount of walls? Um. Right now, it can penetrate up to six layers of material. Is it seven? I think it's seven. Yeah, seven. Jeez, um, not through metal walls, though. No. Um, <laughs> it can only usually do that to glass, because glass isn't really much of a... It, it might it will probably be changed in the actual thing. It's just like, that's... It will be able to penetrate through multiple materials, is basically what I'm saying. Uh, of course, this was only an idea mentioned, but how would implementing clan labs to divisions work? I don't know. Well, that depends on the division, really. You'd have access to the bot, you can do whatever you want with it. It's just, uh, as you can see how it works in Aegis, uh, you can add XP to specific rules. So if you wanted to give 
XP to somebody that have, has completed a certain amount of patrols or something. Be able to give them XP for that. The bot would handle all that rather than having like Trello boards that you currently do, marking down how many patrols someone's attended, etc. etc. You'll also be able to make your own custom medals and stuff with that. So it's 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 better, you know. Uh will there ever be a negative voice command in the future? I mean, um I'm pretty sure the game that we definitely didn't take the voice lines from has a negative voice line. So maybe. But that's also lands in the category just, of um just don't get used anymore. Oh There's yeah. Only one voice line from uh, Half Life that's still in the game. I'm pretty sure it's it's not affirmative. Is it is it affirmative? Yes, yeah, affirmative. Actually, I don't know if it even is because I replaced all the initiate ones. Yeah. Um, no, but there will there'll probably be a negative. I'll probably make like you know those emo wheels that you have that pop up when you hold down a key and you can pick like which oh, one. Oh god! Is. If I did that. That would be a lot more efficient for audio commands because at the moment there's like 50, 100 different keybinds and a lot of them aren't, are currently in use for like other things. So I can't even use them for voice lines. So like having just one key that you'd hold down and then pick a voice line, I'd be able to add like tons of voice lines um, and have them all on one keybind without having like 50 million ones. So that would be more efficient. One voice line should be just s screaming. So that when I host Protocol Invasion, <laughs> all the raiders hear is ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, will there be any, be any admin commands like I'm an admin and I can do a reactor meltdown? No, that's incredibly abusable, um, and also completely pointless. Um, will the green ever start coming back into the wasteland? We've already said yeah, it, it's coming back slowly. I mean like. You know, after a nuclear war, if, like the green does come back into the world after a while. You know, um, it, one day it might not be a desert anymore. You never know. Mm. Mm. I mean, I like I like grass, grass and trees more than I like deserts. I'm I'm more of a grass and tree kind of guy. Well, now that they added uh, decoration, the, the what do you call it, actual physical grass replication? I really want to make the border grass again, but obviously I can't just turn all the terrain into grass, otherwise it just looks a bit stupid, so... It would be a lot of work. Because mm -hmm. you'd have to make, like, the current layout a bit, or, or if you wanted to, you could just move shit about, I don't know. Um, are there any plans for a new band system to replace Trello? Yeah! It already exists. It already exists! And you're using it, or you should have been. How are you not... How are you not using it? Oh wait, you're an ARD, oh. That makes sense then. Yeah, it's already happened. My friend. It was kind of silent, but yeah. Yeah. Only officers knew about it. Um. Can I select a rank when I'm SO? Do you mean can I? Can you select a division? I don't know what that means. Um. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, will there be any new ranks between Chairman and Tommel? Probably not. If VOD goes, there'll probably be no more ranks that there'll sit there. Less ranks. Yeah. The only thing that would ever happen is BOD being removed. I mean, like, that's that's the only scenario that I that I could imagine. Uh, will AIA will, will AIA ever get? I can never pronounce AIA. AIA. It just makes my my mouth just stop. Uh, will AIA ever get a custom keycard? What do you mean, like their own keycard? Yeah. Reminds me of that time that PKSF kept asking for a key, key card for like 50,000 conferences in a row and... Yeah. Um, Every you, division gets one? a key card. Woo! You, you, does everyone just want their own nicely colored key cards? You know what? You get a black key card. We'll give... We'll give... Oh wait, they already, already have a key card, don't they? But it's like orange or something. It's purple. Oh, it's, it's purple. We we'll have MDF a yellow key card. Yeah. Just so you can all feel special. Uh -huh. Okay, that's that's it for the questions. Woo! Thank you for all your wonderful Thank questions. God. Thank you for <laughs> attending this wonderful conference. Thank you for playing the wonderful border. Um, if you have any divisional conferences you need to attend, you can go do so. 
after this conference uh you can come on stage like you normally do and go back to whatever wonderful things you were doing before coming here should have been playing the border uh. yeah, yeah, yeah.